So I have in front of me uh, the Samsung Blackjack 2. Um, and one of the things that's nice about this phone is it has this little wheel key over the uh, four-way directional pad. So in addition to being able, it allows you to both rotate it and you can press it in the four directions. It's going to recognize both. Now most applications, whenever you use a wheel key, it sees that as being the same as pressing the up or down key. Um, so th that's not unusual as far as uh, phones that have a jog dial go, but one of the things that's nice about the Blackjack and some other Samsung phones is they give you access to the APIs that are necessary to uh, get to some of the hardware. So in the case of the wheel key, um, instead of just simply receiving that as an up or down event, um, I can actually look a little further to see if uh, that up or down event was coming because the user pressed the up or down button or because they were rotating the key. And um, so to take advantage of that, I put uh, a little game together and this game should be familiar to a lot of people out there because this is kind of a classic game. Um, so looking at it, some of you should be able to recognize how it works. Basically I have a little paddle and um, I'm using the Samsung SDK in order to receive the events for the key rotation um, so that I can move this paddle accordingly. And the object behind this game is to move this paddle and to keep a ball bouncing until you hit all the bricks. And every time you hit a brick, it disappears or comes closer to disappearing. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll get the ball going now. And actually, I, need, I probably need to go back in a program and increase the speed of that ball because it's going a bit slow right now. It's just easier to do some testing with it going slow. So, um, as you can see, I can control the paddle quite easily by using um, the key rotation. Now, it is possible to control this using the four-way directional pad, but just something about that seems to be less natural, and um, I just like being able to take advantage of um, the input methods that Samsung's made available. Now, in addition to uh, being able to work with the four-way directional pad, um, the same program will also work with the accelerometer if it's present. And if the phone has haptic feedback, it can take advantage of that too. All of that functionality is being exposed through the uh, Samsung Mobile SDK. Um, just a comment about the brick layout here. When I first wrote this, um, I actually had the brick layout stored within a binary file. But then I decided, you know, if somebody's looking at this code, they might decide that they want to change it. So uh, I went back and I stored this, started putting this within a text file. Um, and the format of it is very simple. Um, and I didn't mention this earlier, but he's keeping track of how many times that uh, I've missed the ball. It's only going to allow me to miss the ball three times, and then it's going to reset the game. And I've already missed it twice. I'll go ahead and, re and miss the ball, and you'll see all of the um, blocks get put back into place. So the game has been reset. Now, if I exit out of here, there's actually a little file in here. Format is very straightforward. Every line starts off with the word brick. And then there's five numbers. Now the first four numbers, those come directly from the rectangle structure that's used, um, that is used in Win32 programming. So uh, the order of those numbers is left, top, um, right, then bottom. And the fifth number there is how many times that specific box has to be hit before it disappears. Um, in the case of the top row, I set those all to five, and um, then on some of the lower rows, see there you can see I said to lower numbers um, and back in the game you might recall that some of those blocks were different colors uh, the color represents how many times that specific block will have to be hit um, before it's broken now while I've given most of these regular uh, sizes you are by no way um, confined to them being those regular sizes you can see I made one block at the very bottom a bit longer than all the other ones and they can be place relatively arbitrarily but I've just kept regular placement on those. Now the red blocks, if those get hit once they immediately disappear. Um, I believe the yellow ones have to be hit twice before they disappear and so on. The ones that are light blue, those definitely have to be hit um, five times before they disappear. And I'm going to make all of the source code to this available so if you're curious at looking at it um, you'll be able to find it or if you wanted to see how the Samsung Mobile SDK works and you can go to innovator.samsungmobile.com there's more information and downloads for it there. Um, I'm using the SDK that's specific to Windows Mobile. It also looks like they, that they have some out there um, for their phones that are running on your other operating systems too so it's worth checking out. 